Wayne, t tell me how it did get started. Man, it started with me uh, with a golf tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, Y'all know Sharon, right? Mm -hmm. uh, came played here, you know, his number right, six draft pick on Philadelphia 76ers. He ended up catching Mercer and Council one uh, a few years back and uh, was in need. And uh, so he called me up one day and we looked out for him, but I do celebrity golf tournaments. And uh, I said, well, sure what I do is I'm gonna call Tim Ray Clemson and see can we do a celebrity golf tournament down there and uh, to raise money for you and help you out. So me and Tim got on the phone. I reached out to the football player, the basketball guys, and we all came together and, and did a celebrity golf tournament. It went over so well. Guys had so much fun. They were like, but man, you need to keep this going. You need to keep doing this right here. <laughs> so they kind of charged me with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do a lot of fundraising and giving back to people. Y'all see me, that's all I do. If I retire to that, I just, I just give back, work, help use my image like to help nonprofit organization build, you know, help kids get into school and stuff like that. Right. So that's how it really got started. And uh, and then we started just saying, okay, you know what? This will be the first time in Clemson here today that we, we can put football, basketball, baseball, all sports together, come back and use our image to help nonprofit organizations, different organizations here in the community, and at the same time have a reunion. Mm -hmm. And uh, the second year went, the second year went, uh, raised money for Brian Mance. Uh, third year went, we raised money for council and donated to Davos mm -hmm. Wayne in honor of Andy Trill with Barbara Kennedy, the late ones. And uh, so we kind of honor the, the, the late Tigers that passed on, the great ones. And so it's just like been blossoming, you know, like just like a, a butterfly, you know what I'm saying, just blooming and everything. So basically, man, uh, everybody said, but, you know, we got your back, man. Just let us know we'll come in and, and it's growing. It's growing. We, you know, we went from 12 players, it's 20 guys coming back and everything now doing that. So I'm very pleased with that. With when the Black C done jumped on board, Ipte, Coach Dabo Swinney, he's done, done commercials for us. He, we just left him a few minutes ago, spending time with him. You know, he's a basketball guy. Mm -hmm. Everybody don't know that, but he's really a basketball guy, but he's just doing this football thing. <laughs> he's doing a wonderful job at it. So I, we love, I'm glad he's doing football. But uh, man, we all working together, and uh, like this, this what we doing right now. We started the Wayne A. Buckingham Scholarship Fund. It's for kids, not athletes. It's for young ladies and young men who wants to come to Clemson. Former kid players, kids that want to come to Clemson, kids with a learning disability, being diagnosed as being dyslexic or whatever, wheelchairs, so they can call Clemson. Go online, fill out for the scholarship. Our endowment is a hundred thousand dollars. We got about twenty-five to fifty in there so far. So all the money we raise is going back into Clemson, back in states right here home for the uh, the local areas. So I know you, you get these guys together, but it also you know it says about the brotherhood that you guys, especially you football and basketball players, have, especially from that era. I mean, when you look at the guys you got in there, I mean that's all from the time you played and. I mean, from Homer all the way up to, you know, actually Mr. Bostick all the way up. Right. I and mean, that says a lot about the Clemson family, don't it? Oh, 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 oh. See, you just said something right there. Now, you say family. One of the reasons I came to Clemson. Mm -hmm. When I first came to Clemson, the family atmosphere kind of reminded me of, you know, I'm from a small country town called Bell Buckle. So, now Clemson ain't Bell Buckle no more. It's done grown and got big. But back when we was in school, we all worked out together. We all... We support the football at every football game. They can't every basketball game. I can't say enough about the Paul and the Clemson family because we all together. We all together. So I don't care who you hear, everybody tell you, when you talk about Clemson, it's all about family. Michael Dean and we used to play with them guys over at fight. They wanted to play basketball. We wanted to play football. <laughs> but we ate together. We parted together. You know, we it was a joint, a joint thing, man. So, but no, yeah, Clemson's all about family, and we're about family, and that's another reason why we started this thing to try to build the gap between the '60s, '70s, '80s, and '90s to the 2000s. You uh, know, we had yeah, we 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 very, 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 very happy. We very happy what's going on. Here. We love the, the new atmosphere. We went over to Dabo, saw the new stuff, went to Little John. Hey. It's a wonderful thing that Clemson is doing. Wonderful thing. I, I just feel like everything is going to 
blossomed big bigger and the guys they loved it they enjoyed itself but the family part of it like Davo said the same thing it's all about family his guys you know they all work together and even the team he said something today when he was over there you know we all work together and people thought I'm trying to remember everything he said but he said so a lot about winning <laughs> how to win how the guys they, they, they buy into the system and they come here and they stay three, four years. They don't. They, they we don't have people jumping in the transfer program. We ain't accepting people to come in. I love that because I feel like this. I'm, I know this off the subject, but I'm sorry. No, that's good. Hey, man, if you choose to come to Clemson, if you choose to go to Georgia Tech, I don't want you jumping from Georgia Tech trying to come to Clemson. Because if you wanted to go to Clemson, you should have came in the first place. So what? The same reason you left there, you can get here. You got to compete. You'll leave us too. But we got guys that come here and they love Clemson. They love it's, it's some things up in these hills. Thank you. That's why they stay here. And I think we are sitting at, what, 99.7 graduate rate for yeah. football and basketball? You can't beat that. No. You, you can't beat that. So. One last question. You kind of mentioned some of it there the, with, the, with the change in landscape of college athletics. And, you know, yesterday, the big news with all the teams jumping over to the Big 12 and Big 10. Is it uh, is college athletics like how much has it changed? And is it good or bad for the sports? To be honest with you, I think it's bad for the sports. I think it's bad for the sports, but I think it, it, it's good for the, the athletes, but it's bad for the sport and for the schools mm -hmm. because you're giving the athletes too much control, jumping ship. Want to say if I, I'm not happy with you because you didn't put me in a game, I can just leave. You know what I'm saying? Then the money wise. It's going to really hurt the small universities. Only the big universities going to fend off with this. I think it's going to go for about another four or five years, and we're all going to turn around. It's going to go right back to the old way because they're going, to, they're going to get so big and blow out of the situation. We're going to have to, going to bring it back in and start all over again. And uh, I mean, I want everybody to make money, and go play pro ball, but it ain't promised to everybody. You know, you can come here and get an education, graduate in three years, leave here, and have a job. That's, that's all that really matters. But uh, I think it's going to hurt us uh, sports athletics. I'm just being honest with you.